The Camino de Santiago, or the Way of St. James, a historic pilgrimage dating back to the 9th century, ending at the burial shrine of the Apostle of Jesus. Since the late 800s AD, faithful pilgrims from across the globe have packed their belongings and set their sights toward Santiago in search of healing, an attempt at penance, or to seek spiritual renewal. Though the Camino Primitivo is the oldest of the numerous routes, the Camino Francis is the most famous. Starting in St. John Pied de Port, France, and traversing the Pyrenees through the north of Spain, the route encompasses 800 kilometers of stunning landscapes, quaint mountain towns, and historic monuments. For centuries, local communities have, and still do, welcome and support pilgrims with open hearts and open hands. Traditional albergues or pilgrim hostels line the trail, and medieval churches still welcome walkers for a quiet moment of solitude. The way is fraught with difficulties, physical, mental, and spiritual in nature. It's a journey of the feet, the will, and the soul. Today, the way is certainly more cush and commercialized than its medieval counterpart, but the essence of the journey remains. It's a conglomerate of peoples, a place to meet and converse with individuals from every nation and tongue. It's now a hodgepodge of religions, cultures, and motivations, but at the core of it still lies a historic venture, an almost palpable tie to our past, and a communal spirit that endures despite the evolution. The way is both a personal journey and a group effort, and it's a one-of-a-kind adventure. Well, good morning. Day three on the Camino. After the catastrophe of yesterday, um, I have chosen to take the bus today. <laughs> While my knee does feel much better this morning and my hip, um, I simultaneously feel like I could do it but also shouldn't. <laughs> Uh, which is a little hard for this uh, competitive chick. Um, so yeah, we've taken the uh, decision that I should take the bus today. So Davis is heading off by himself and we will meet up in Pamplona today. So I'm bummed, I'm really bummed. Um, feels a little like failure, which I'm not cool with. <laughs> Don't really do so well with that, but um, you know, I didn't really know why I was doing the Camino. Maybe it's to teach me that uh, you can't always win. <laughs> now that that little soul searching moment is over. Um, yeah, we're gonna catch a bus. All right, well, unfortunately, Abby's knee was awful yesterday. I mean, I'm super proud of her, honey. I'm proud of you. I don't know if I could have done what you did yesterday with the knee pain. I mean, Abby was in tears yesterday from the pain in her knees. I've never seen her in tears from physical pain, ever. So I don't know how I would react in that situation. I might have just quit and called a ride. Uh, but Abby made it all the way here. She's way tougher than me. Um, I don't think I could have done that. But... Uh, so babe, proud of you for that. Uh, I know that was tough. And I know this is really hard for you to do this today, to take the bus, but I think the save your knee today for the future part of our travel, our Camino uh, is probably more important. So I love you. It's God here. This beautiful river it reminds me of Arkansas. Beautiful, beautiful. I kind of want to go fishing. Oh, come on, great. You should do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, finally caught the bus and I have arrived to Pimplona. So I have about a 10 minute walk to my apartment. Um, my leg hurts, <laughs> so, for, but, uh, but otherwise doing pretty good, so hopefully it'll be an easy walk to get there and I can rest today. All right, so we think <laughs> we see Pamplona in the distance, we think. We think. And if it is, that's been a smooth day. Not too bad. Yeah. Easy, good temperature. <laughs> All 
it. So we still got, what do we say, 4.8 kilometers. So we're kind of on the, I guess you're the rural areas of Pamplona, the different little towns that surround it. But cute town. Look at that. It's beautiful. Say hello to Abby. Hello. Hi, Abby. We missed you today. You need to get better. <laughs> get better. <laughs> Castles are just cool. They just yeah. are. So much history. Yes. Welcome to Pamplona. That's cute, cute big city. So now I'm trying to navigate to where Abby is, which is the uh, hotel. So. Ryan's home. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> Oh lord. He was gone for like five hours. <laughs> okay, no power? What's going on here? I don't know, it has no power. What we have learned on this Camino already is that you just meet incredible people and then you have to say goodbye. Yep and it's super sucky. Like, since we have work days, we're gonna be in Pamplona for three nights, which means that all the people we've traveled the last three days, three days with, yep. um, you know, they're moving on tomorrow. Some are staying for two nights here. Scott's staying another night, so we'll have one friend here, but like, you know, Nicholas and Christian that we've become really close with, they're leaving tomorrow. I mean, we're kind of used to it with our lifestyle. Like, we meet people we keep in contact via Facebook, you know, social media or whatever, but um, yeah, it's hard because the Camino is a different experience. And when you experience it together, it's sort of a bond. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to day five of the Camino. Um, we've jumped ahead a little, I know. Uh, yesterday was a rest day here in Pamplona. Today is a work day as well, but we are going to go out and take a little bitty baby tour. We got to get our pilgrim passport stamped and we just wanted to show you how pretty this city is. Um, I'm still really sore. So, we're going to keep the walking to a minimum. Pamplona is an important city on the Camino historically, as it's the first major city on the Camino Francis. It was the capital of the former nation of Navarre, built up around the Arga River, and has been a favorite destination of writers and artists through the ages, including Ernst Hemingway. Pamplona is most known for its San Fermin Festival, which includes the famous and controversial Enciero, or Running of the Bulls. The city is an explosion of color, culture, and tasty eats, and is one I wouldn't mind coming back to explore more. Within the Cathedral of Pamplona, the Museo Diocesano of Religious Art is one of the most comprehensive and impressive Camino museums along the entire route and is definitely worth the 5 euro entry fee. We rented an apartment just off Plaza San Nicolas through Booking.com. El Recon de Lali was the perfect spot for us and we can highly recommend this cute little stay and its friendly owner. I mean, this place has everything you need, so you could come to here and have nothing, or if you lose anything, they have it here. Pamplona is seriously the most beautiful city. Like, it's clean, it's, but it's so hard to catch on camera because it's just all these like alleyways that go all these different directions and it's and they're shooting up tall like on both sides with all these colorful buildings and like wrought iron balconies and pretty flowers and everything's colorful and clean and lovely and it's a really beautiful city that I can't seem to capture on film. How many times have you had tortilla, what's it called? Tortilla. This tortilla patata, specific one from this restaurant, three three times in 
three days. All right, every morning you Vaseline your feet up, you get dressed, and then the packing process begins from the night before, and you start to make sure you pack it correctly, because you know, at this point, if you pack it wrong, it may, it may not fit. <laughs> it ain't going in. It ain't going in. We're moving pretty slowly this morning. <laughs> we should have left probably an hour ago. The first couple of days and you're staying in the Abergays, you like get it, you have to leave. Like everybody else is up, you're up. In Ron Zavala's, they're like waking you up at six, like get out. You have to be out by eight. But um, we have our own apartment here in Pamplona and we don't have to be out till noon. So um, we find that we're dawdling a little this morning. Also, this is my first day hiking back or walking. Um, after three days of rest, yeah, three days, my hip flexors are still screaming at me this morning, but my knee doesn't hurt anymore, so I'm hoping that that has healed up and is, it's fine now. So we got another test today. I was kind of up a big hill and back down at the end, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm no expert hiker. I will not be teaching you any hiking or walking tricks. In fact, if you can teach me how to go up a sustained hill without messing up my hip flexors every time, I'd be quite grateful. However, due to an old neck injury and living in a backpack um, that's intensely heavy, I have learned a trick for keeping weight off your shoulders. So most of us ladies, not all of us, we're all be built different, but I would say, venture to say, most of us, your power is down here. <laughs> um, even if you have giganto shoulders like me, you probably are much more strong in your hips and legs. So what we do is we have Ryan's fanny pack here, his bum bag. It's a great big one. It's, a, it's got a nice flat top. We load it with almost all the heavy stuff. So all the camera batteries, the data storage thingamabob, I'm, I'm not very technical. I just call it the brick thingy. Um, the brick thingy and all the other heavy stuff is in this fanny pack. So it is sitting on my glute muscles, bearing the weight on my hip bones. Bueno. Um, then my backpack which this one keeps getting heavier and heavier, um, sits directly on top of that baby. It does have a hip strap as well, um, which adds a little bit of extra oomph. But as you can see, like no pressure on my shoulders or neck. I'm not really even carrying it. It's just sitting on the fanny pack and the fanny pack is sitting on my hip bones. You're welcome. All right, so this is day six on the Camino for us, but it's technically day four of hiking. So we are leaving Pamplona today, gorgeous city, I'm sad to leave. And we are going to, hopefully, to the town of Punta La Reina, which we think is about 23 kilometers. Yay. It's not supposed to be terrible, but it's just like a slow incline and then like a pretty steep peak towards the end and then a steep drop off. So we're going to we're going to test this girl today. See how I do. But the good news is if it gets to hurting too bad, there's a stop off sort of like in the middle that we can stop and stay the night. So we can do that if we have to. Let's go. If you're directionally challenged and you're worried about doing the Camino because you might get lost or whatever. Please don't be. There are literally signs every five feet. Watch this. Camino. One, two, three, four, five paces. Camino. One, two, three, four, five paces. Camino. If you get lost in five paces, I can't, I can't help you. Y'all, this man never breaks the rules. Ah. And when I say never, I mean no, never, I never, never. He's the biggest nerd. <laughs> he never breaks the rules until it comes to crosswalks. And then he's like some sort of rebel banshee. <laughs> well, I just told you you can't get lost, but 
if huh. you if you get lost in the pretty dogwoods in the park and you're like do 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 you will miss the turn off and some little sweet Spanish lady will say better grino like that way go go <laughs> and that's and that's the uh, <laughs> the nice thing about the Camino the locals are like they will help you out they're super helpful. they're super nice they're like no no like you said that way that way yeah and she, she walked just, us to the she side she was just yeah. walking her dog and she's like you're going the wrong way <laughs> so we only went the wrong way about 15 feet yeah before someone helped us so In our opinion, once you make your way out of the city, this is one of the most beautiful and pleasant hikes along the trail. You traverse miles of bright green and yellow canola fields, gorgeous little mountain towns, and some pretty amazing pilgrim monuments along the way. regime here in Spain 1937 um, there were loads of people in this region of Navarre that rose up against part of the government and they were just killed like no trial no they were just murdered and buried in mass graves and so this memorial kind of looks like a old Celtic you know stone circle was built to memorialize some of the people that died in a revolt in this area they died fighting for their rights and now they've got a pretty epic resting place over the land they fought for, so pretty cool. Okay, so aside from a stray cat and some birds, like almost all of these mountain towns we've been in today are like Feel like they're completely empty <laughs> like there's a cafe and some pilgrims but the rest of the town is like empty it feels like river's gonna cry when you're gone We arrived in Punta Lorena. We checked two hostels, um, a couple of private ones here, and they did not have any albergue rooms or any bunk beds, just private rooms that were kind of expensive. So we landed at the municipal hostel, which is the cheapest option. It is seven euros a piece for a bed, and it's actually really nice. Like this is a really, really nice one. Everyone was complaining about the one in Zubiri being just like one big room with hundreds of beds, but this one's, this one's gorgeous and clean and seven bucks luxury sheets here. But it's better than bed bugs. Actually, almost all the places we've stayed at so far have had these plastic things over the mattresses, so. All right, you guys, so today was not too bad. Um, I had like once or twice some pretty tweaked knee pain, but nothing in comparison to the other day, so I've healed up nicely, so that's great. Um, pretty easy hike today, no big deal. There was like a downhill area with a bunch of boulders that everybody was warning about and kind of worried about, but it was not, no big deal. Um, feet are, dogs are barking a little today as my sister would say. Um, feet are definitely hurting, um, just soreness from rocks and stuff, but other than that, pretty easy day. Beautiful, beautiful landscape we hiked through. Sorry, I'm trying to get into my sandwich because you know, sandwiches are important. Um, I'm super hungry. So we landed in the municipal hostel, like we told you just a bit ago, in Punta Lorena. This is actually really impressive. They've got lots of vending machines, a nice eating area. They've got good Wi-Fi for me to do some work, so that's nice. There's a big, like, lawn outside in the back. Um, people stretching and doing some yoga, and, and it cost us seven euros a piece, so 14 euros for both of us. Not a bad gig.
Punta Lorena, or Bridge of the Queen, is a small town in Navarre with not much more than a few restaurants, a beautiful little church, and a stunning 11th century bridge, from which the town gets its name. Built to help pilgrims cross the Arga River, the bridge was once guarded and had a toll. But today, it's totally free and boasts an incredible view. We're probably done with you for tonight. The end of day four of hiking. We're gonna get some rest, do some work, take a shower, and probably go to bed at eight o'clock because that's what you do on the Camino. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Passing by, leave a mark in our marks. 